Hi, welcome back to another Terratscapes video. Uh, today's video, I wanted to showcase a display board that I actually um, had constructed for myself to use with my Dark Elves, uh, probably, oh, I don't know, maybe eight months ago. So I've um, had this board for a little while, and I've been using it in tournaments um, that I've attended, and it's been getting, you know, really positive uh, reception and I thought um, as I'm shifting my armies to a new army to play for the next year that I would um, finally release it, put it up on the site um, so I'll have this both in the uh, display board section of the website and I'm also going to put this board in the um, sale section, the uh, uh, special section because um, since it has been used, although it is in practically pristine condition, um, I still figure I'm going to give a, a little bit of a discount for it so that I could um, get it out of here and make room for the next display board, which I'll probably begin working on next month or two. Um, this is a uh, first time also that I'll be showcasing the board with some miniatures on it. Uh, I haven't done that in the past for the other um, display boards that I've completed, and I thought that this really would give you a chance to get a sense of how many miniatures the board can hold comfortably, um, especially you know thinking that this uh, frame is the same size frame that I use for all of the display boards now, so you can get a general sense of how the entire area can hold, uh, you know, how many miniatures it can hold, uh, irrespective of how it's been built unless of course future editions have you know something that really fills up some space on the board but most of the time when I build display boards I'm trying to preserve the maximum amount of surface on it that can be ha that can hold miniatures so that it can be used for a variety of sizes of armies as your armies grow I'd like to think that your display board will still be useful to you uh, well into the future no matter how large it gets uh, depends of course on your uh, collecting whim um, so let me uh, bring you up close, take a look at this. I'm going to give you a look at it with some miniatures on it, and then I'm going to give you um, a close-up of some of the board features without miniatures so you can see it more closely. So first I thought we'd take a look at the board filled with miniatures to give you a sense of what it can hold um, and how it would look you know, on display for a tournament. Uh, you know, these are uh, my Vampire Counts armies, at least the uh, army that, at least the mon miniatures that I have painted. There's a few more, not included, of course. Um, and this is larger than what would be, you know, a typical army in general. Um, but here, just to give you a sense of the unit sizes that are represented here, it's a 40-man unit of uh, ghouls. You have a 25-unit of uh, zombies, 20 grave guard, uh, 20 skeletons, uh, 30 skeletons, 3 spirit hosts, 5 uh, wraiths, uh, 2 characters and a vargolf, and 2 corpse carts in the back. And you can see, just taking a look at the board, that you know there's still room to place additional miniatures for even larger games. So this board would obviously hold, you know, say up to five, uh, not five thousand, maybe five thousand, depending on your army. But probably, you know, I'm thinking in the three thousand point range, very comfortably. But it's still going to dress up, you know, in a smaller game. Say if you were playing like fifteen hundred points, you could still put them out on the board and be able to showcase each individual unit really nicely. And being able to have, you know, the cliff in the back really sets up some of the more important models to be looking down over their, you know, so characters or large monsters. Um, I often put up here uh, when I field my Dark Elves, the Bolt Throwers, that's a really nice combo up here. Um, so you've really got some layout flexibility depending on the army that you're playing to be able to showcase individual units where they might look best. So here we can see um, the display board sans miniatures, and um, basically what I've done is try to construct a multi-tiered uh, display board so it has some real height, you know, interest, but at the same time preserves all of the flat space for the maximum amount of miniatures to be placed on. Actually, sometimes in, when I've taken this tournament, I've placed a small building or a tower in the back corner there, which kind of sets that off really nicely as well, and takes up some space should you be playing with a smaller army and have some empty you know, extra space on the board to be able to use it. Uh, so the hill uh, that sits above a uh, roughly uh, three inch high cliff. Um, these were all cast rocks and I've been using a soft casting technique so I can actually place the rock on a sculpted surface. I went a little flat on this um, because I wasn't sure just how much I could bend the casts onto a curved surface but having done this experimental piece here I'm much more confident I can do quite a bit of you know undulations here and still get that beautiful detail on it. Then um, at each of the uh, uh, different uh, tiers, you know, there's a small rock outcropping dressed with vegetation uh, to, you know, sort of help make that transition. And then a nice wide open front space so that you can place large blocks of troops there.
Of course, as with all the display boards, they're bordered by a uh, wooden frame that has um, a really nice but simple um, cut effect in it. And I have this in four colors, so that can be changed depending on the need of the uh, army. And uh, not really sure what else I can say about it except, oh, I, well, probably if you're first time looking at these. Um, let me see here. Uh, hold on. Two seconds. Oh, tape measure would help for this. Um, let me see if I can pan back a little bit here. Just to give you a sense of the size of this, um, the, uh, the, the actual surface that can accommodate miniatures is approximately uh, 23 and a half inches by roughly um, 17 and a half or so. So 23 by 17, that's playable interior with, say, a one and a half inch edge border for the um, frame itself. Uh, still, it's nice. It's very reasonable for transportation. And um, the uh, frame is, you know, a nice durable border to help, you know, avoid any dings or dents to the um, uh to the foam. Now one thing that will be new in the future, um, this has been foam coated all on the top surface to improve its durability, but in the uh, next version that I do with any kind of an outcropping like that in the back, that is actually going to get styroplast on it as that's a little bit more resilient for those sharp corners sticking out and is really going to help protect it and gives a nice smooth finish to the foam on the back as well. So it really takes it just up a tiny notch but an important one. So I hope you enjoyed it cat. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at the uh, display board and, uh, and seeing some of the features that it has to offer. Uh, remember that um, I have uh, you know different colored frames to go around different display boards so I can tweak that a little bit to match individual armies and match the sort of scheme that the board might have. And um, if you have any questions or, or, or are interested in getting a display board for yourself, um, you can always um, email me at mike at terranscapes.com. Happy to talk to you about that. And you can always visit the um, display board page at Terranscapes and you can see there um, some of uh, cat. Uh, you can see there some of the other display boards that I've done so far and um, use them as a guide to help uh, maybe construct some ideas you might have about one for yourself. So um, thanks again for watching. I really do appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned to the uh, channel. Of course, you know I'll be back with some more videos real soon.